The phenomenon of roads buckling is not new, uh, but it is something we try to prevent. Here's how it works. You know, every material has a coefficient of expansion. So uh, as it gets warmer, generally things get larger. And on our long linear highways, whether it's a curb and gutter section or a piece of the median or a concrete pavement, that's going to grow as well too. Now you see all these joints in a highway. The joints control cracking and they, they allow room for the pavements to expand because even though concrete expands very small per degree temperature change, when you add miles and miles and miles of a long linear concrete ribbon, so to speak, you can get feet of expansion that has to be absorbed somewhere. And obviously, the ground prevents it from buckling down and buckling sideways, so the only place, the least path of resistance is up. So that's what happens. We have our concrete slabs, and these joints are sawed in and sealed, and that allows the slab to expand and and not buckle. But what happens in Minnesota is, what do we do all winter long? We put salt and sand and everything in our highways, and a lot of times if these seals aren't sealed, dirt and debris can get in these joints. Then the concrete slab has no room to expand. It's full of dirt, it's full of debris, and what happens when it does expand, again, it follows that path of least resistance and it pops up in the air just like that. So that's what causes our pavements to buckle. And, you, and, and again, in Minnesota, our pavements have this huge temperature extreme. So they gotta go from 20 below zero to sometimes they're 120, 130 degrees if they've been soaking in that sun on a hot, hot day like we've been having. So again, the, the differential that they can expand are much greater in northern climates like ours where we have the cold colds and the hot hots and again, with the, the sand in, our, in the wintertime filling our joints, that leads to Minnesota pavement buckling. Here's a typical expansion joint in a curb and gutter. And again, if this buckled up in the air, what our crews can do to fix this sometimes is they can either pry them back together and squeeze the other outsides and just let them fall into place, or they can even saw off a little bit to reestablish that joint and allow that pavement to fall back in. And we can do that with median panels or concrete panels that have the same thing that buckle up in there. So we can saw it out. If it damages the pavement and crack and destroy, what we do is salvage what we can and just we have to re-pour that curb section in or that median section in or a piece of concrete pavement. So uh, that's the typical repairs. Uh, it's sometimes very labor intensive, but it's what needs to be done. These pop-ups or these uh, uh, breakages in our highway can happen very quickly and very severely. So anytime you see this, please contact our office either by phone or on our website. Uh, and we will respond to these emergencies 24-7. Uh, if it's a hazard to the traveling public, we do want to get out there and take care of it. So please tell us about it, and we'll get out there right away. And even our asphalt pavements, uh, which don't have the buckling problem like concrete does, uh, they may be on top of a concrete pavement. So you can still see some of these buckling problems on what appears to be an asphalt problem. So any problems, whether it's a buckle or uh, a pothole, which is the opposite, uh, please let us know.